Hey, what's going on guys? This is Alex here with Angle Sports Center and it's a weekly fish report. Let's get started with what's going up, uh, going on around here in the main bay uh, in the Annapolis area. And right now, pretty much it's kind of hit or miss for you know your stripers uh, in most of the general area here. Most of the reports are coming from pretty far north up in the bay, coming out of that Hodges Bar region, Pulse Island on the humps there. If you're not familiar with that area, make sure you check out uh, a chart, local map, and you know, kind of get familiar with that because most of the guys are going way up there and they're catching some decent sized fish. I mean, some guys are trolling the channel edges there on the eastern shore side between you know 25 and uh, 30 foot of water. Uh, they're running some umbrellas, double, you know, double drop umbrellas and some uh, tandems. Uh, hot color this week was flying truce. Uh, a couple guys were looking for that around here, so that's been you know, the productive color. Not saying anything else won't work, but that's been pretty good. Uh, you can bump up your speed a little bit to like 3.5, uh, 3 miles an hour, that should work. Now other than that, you can also troll some spoons and produce some fish. But besides that, if you're anchoring up there, make sure you anchor up a little bit shallower. Uh, apparently some of the guys over in that are anchoring up in like 15, 20 foot of water and they're chunking uh, and also throwing some live spot out there too. Uh, so a little bit shallower water and you work your way from the drop into shallow water and try some of those areas there. Love Point has been hit or miss too, along with Pedicory and also the Bay Bridge Pilings have been, have, they have slowed down this week with most of the guys just catching a couple of dinkers here and there and also live line has been kind of slow. Uh, for some reason it kind of just turned off this past week. Hopefully picks back up. Uh, now let's work our way a little bit south to Thomas Point and all those areas down there. Uh, productive area has been Poplar Island early morning and evening for your top water. Shallow water search baits like paddle tails, some jerk baits have produced some fish there. Uh, and you know, once in a while you get some really nice sized fish there. So if you're into that shallow water bite, make sure you get in shallow around Poplar Island and you can also fish in live line around Thomas Point. Uh, for the guys fishing uh, shorelines and pretty much surf casting or just fishing from the shore, uh, Thomas Point actually has been producing some good sized fish and a good amount of fish. And when I see Thomas Point, it's Thomas Point Park, just south of Annapolis. You need a pass to get there. Apparently they just uh, had their opening, so that's close. So you have to wait until the next opening to get a pass. Most of the guys over there have been talking about the uh, good old classic pencil popper, black or any kind of Honestly, color hasn't been a big issue there. It's just a style of bait. Nice pencil popper like that has been producing some good fish there early morning until the evenings. Uh, so make sure you get a couple of those. Keep them around because even if you're shore fishing or casting from a boat, they are useful. Uh, other than that, you're looking at pretty much everybody down south, way down south, switching over to your cobia, red drum, and you know, bluefish and macro fishing. Uh, they are producing some cobia down towards the mouth of the Potomac in the middle grounds, uh, so, you know, uh, pretty much side casting or trolling. And one thing, if you're going to troll, we mentioned this a lot, use some of those bigger spoons uh, with planers, size twos or threes. And you, you know, with the bigger size, it will pretty much produce some of those cobia and some of those drum if you run into them. And obviously some of those rockfish, you know, if they're around. Uh, smaller planers, uh, like size ones and twos and small size ones uh, of the same kind of spoon will work good for macro and bluefish because the bluefish are around down there. Now, a couple things. Uh, still in the bay. Flounder fishing. No one talks about it. Uh, it's that time of the year where down in Cor uh, Cornfield Harbor, down in the mouth of the Potomac, which is Point Lookout, uh, and they're catching a few flounder. Nothing crazy, little small ones, but they're there now. So if you go over to the islands, so over like Tangier, uh, the Tangier Sound, Smith Island, all those areas, and they never held, uh, hurt to just bite on bounce some goat with some bucktails, just like ocean fishing, but a little bit smaller, over in some ledges, you know, just drop off points and stuff like that. I'm sure you will catch flounder, uh, and even, you know, maybe some keeper flounder, since those fish keep moving up uh, up in the bay. Uh, and the same thing for ocean city fishing. Uh, they're catching a few flounder here and there. Evening bite has been good with some rockfish. In the inlet, nothing crazy, but the talk of the town for Ocean City is the shark fishing. Uh, surf fishing guys are tearing up the sharks, sand tigers, and sandbars. 
make sure you check the regulations on that because there's a couple regulations that you know you have to follow uh, and get some bait and get out there in, at night and you know evening and early <coughs> excuse me early morning so other than that you know Ocean City has been kind of hit or miss for mainly everything especially in the weekends with the boat traffic it's kind of you know a little too much once you get to the day now speckled trout fishing uh, down in the islands, uh, 10 year sound uh, and whatnot. It's kind of uh, a little bit warmer now for some of those big old speck traps, but if you get there early morning and evening, that's the key. And some white, small white paddle tails like that have been produced some good sized fish. Um, just working your way into the points there again has been good. Uh, and you know, just kind of throw some paddle tails with smaller weight uh, jig heads, like 3 8 quarter ounce, 3 16 at times and you'll find some red puppy drum there too so white perch fishing around this area has been productive now uh, with some spinners the classic perch pounders but there's some big humpback uh, white perch right off packets that i've seen some nice catch and if you're down south you do some peeler crab too because some speckled trout uh, you know i always love the peeler crab but around the pilings, if you want to go white perch fishing, get some soft crabs or peelers and drop them right next to the pilings, and you will catch a nice size white perch over in the Bay Bridge. Uh, spot are kind of moving throughout the area right now, so if you're you know pier fishing, you're pretty much looking for a spot. Some small croaker, not even keeper size yet. Um, white perch, silk catfish, and some uh, rock fishing evenings with some cut ly and soft crabs. Uh, the narrows have been hit or miss. Nothing crazy yet. Uh, it seems like you need a really good tide for that to pick up, and jigs uh, will work there, you know, uh, at nighttime. Uh, snakehead fishing is pretty, you know, hard right now, for what I've heard down in Blackwater. Uh, you really have to get there early, or wait until it gets a little darker in the evening. Uh, same thing is just the pattern for every kind of fishing this time of year when it gets this hot during the day. Uh, frogs and you know the typical stuff works right now down there, but it's just uh, it's been a struggle for some of the guys down there So hopefully it picks up and we see more of that fry coming up in the next few weeks um, That's pretty much it for your fishing report guys uh, Send us your pictures, you know, give us a like follow and you guys have a good one